Good morning, Paul. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, follow-up on the video I did for October 15th, the Pregnancy and Infant Loss uh, Remembrance Day. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to thank you for putting up this video, and I want to thank you for sharing what you went through. I think too many people uh, gloss over the bad things in their life uh, and gloss over the bad things that happen in other people's lives simply because I don't think many people like to be reminded that the whole world isn't pretty flower flowers and butterflies. So <clears throat> I wanted to put uh, a little more detail into my story from earlier and uh, to all my regular viewers and subscribers, I'm sorry I'm kind of somber on this one again. This is just a tough subject for me. Anyway, um, if you've watched my October 15th uh, video, then you know most of the story already. If not, uh, I'll go ahead and put a link right up here um, for you to go back and watch it, and I encourage you to watch that one before you watch this one. Um, Let's start with the second one first. Uh, I guess... Well, let's just put it this way. This particular girl, a uh, woman I was dating at the time, she actually never offered to let me take any kind of parenting responsibilities uh, for the child that was growing in her. She swore up and down every time that she was going to have to take care of it all by herself. And I guess in a way that's a fortunate thing um, because it let me not get too attached to the child. And at the same time, uh, fortunately and unfortunately, uh, that pregnancy did not last long at all. Um, Unfortunately, because a uh, baby was lost, and that's never a good thing. And fortunately, though, because I didn't get a chance to get too attached uh, before the pregnancy ended. Going back to the first one, though, um, and just FYI, if this person, this woman ever watches these videos and disapproves of me having this up, then I will take it down immediately. Um, but... The first one is kind of a tough story. Um, she had a very tough life. A lot of stuff she shared with me. Um, that's amazing. The one thing that kind of uh, stands out amongst the rest when it comes to this particular subject, though, is that she, well, let's put it this way, her first sexual experience at all was being raped by her boyfriend at a nearby mall, um, like under a staircase, outdoors. Uh, unfortunately, because she was raped, it damaged a lot of what was up inside, um, and I think, if I remember correctly, most doctors told her there's a very good chance that she'd never be able to have a child. Um, before I get into the stuff that I guess is a little tough for me to share, let me go ahead and tell everybody out there that she does have one now. I believe I mentioned that in my last video, but she did actually get pregnant and was able to keep it. And uh, so I'm happy for her on that one. But um, it was just tough for me in that particular case uh, on when she was pregnant that time. Um, simply because she offered to let me have some of the parenting duties of this child. And that meant quite a lot to me because, like I said, at the time I was like head over heels for this girl. And being able to be, I guess for lack of a, a better word, a surrogate father, maybe, maybe I'm just using that wrong word. Um, I, I don't know, I got very attached to the idea. I got very attached to the child. I believe this one... I, th I believe she miscarried probably sometime when she was about... I think it was over 20 weeks because I'm pretty sure that's where the first real point you can tell the sex of the baby. 
and she had gotten to the point where they could when she miscarried. And so it, just, it had been around for a while. She knew it uh, for a while. And like I said, she was showing uh, by the time she miscarried, unfortunately. And she had, like I said, she had told me that I could actually have some of the father duties in this particular situation if I wanted them. And at that time I did. I remember one night um, when we had hung out one evening and uh, I had taken her back home. We were calling it a night. And uh, I remember actually, you know, not only telling her goodbye, but actually reaching down and, and hugging her, her tummy, stomach, whatever you want to call it, that area down there, and actually telling her baby to be good to her mother. Those things are hard to remember when the baby's now gone, uh, especially the way it ended. And I really believe had I had been given that opportunity, even though I was still rather young at the time, I think I was 22 when this happened, I would have been there for her. Um, even her family wanted me, or excuse me, even her family wanted us dating. So I think I would have stuck around to be a part of her and that baby had things happen differently. Um, I did not leave her because of that. I stuck around as long as I could. Things just went really badly after that. Um, I won't go into too much detail because that's just one of my long relationship stories and I'll put that into another video um, maybe some sometime later uh, if anyone's interested. But. Um, Luckily, for me, about three years later, I was able to catch up with her again. And this time, I was actually able to talk to her about what had happened, uh, what had gone on with her baby. Um, and she cried a lot. And I can't remember if I cried that night or just tried to hold it back and be there for her. but. It was nice to actually get it out, and I think that's the reason today that I'm not as emotional as I used to be about this particular one, because I had a chance to grieve over it. I had a chance to talk about that baby's, oh, excuse me, I had a chance to talk to that baby's mother about what had happened. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, Paul, I appreciate you kind of inspiring me to actually get this out there too. Um, and I hope that uh, things get a little better for you. And I hope that, you know, you don't have to necessarily go about reliving these memories too often. Anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Um, have a good one. Bye.